from massive woodlands boasting extensive histories, ancient ruins, and extreme paranormal activity, to urban greens whose aged roads harbor the lost souls of outlaws executed centuries past. Are you ready for some of the most haunted forests in the United States? Number 5. Ocala National Forest Ocala National Forest, located in central Florida, north of Orlando, is a 607-square-mile expanse recognized for its large patches of sand pine scrub forest, as well as for being the oldest national forest east of the Mississippi and the southernmost national forest in the country. Historically, this region was inhabited by tribes native to the area for as far back as 14,000 years with prehistoric village sites present throughout the forest. In 1513, Florida was discovered by Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon. It was highly contested until 1822, after which it was established as a territory. And starting in the 19th century, a number of fresh homesteads sprouted up, forming into the cities, towns, and farms we know today. Ocala National Forest was first established in 1908. Through the Great Depression, a number of trails and structures were implemented courtesy of the Civilian Conservation Corps, and in 1966, a group of determined volunteers from the Florida Trail Association would blaze 72 miles of Ocala for the larger Florida Trail. Ocala National Forest remains open to this day, offering a slew of trails, campsites, playgrounds, picnic areas, over 600 lakes, and, as legend has it, a range of hauntings, with many wandering its bounds describing disembodied footsteps, whispers from thin air, phantom gunshots and cries, and extreme cold spots. A popular fable tells that Mud Lake once acted as a dump site for the bodies of victims of lynchings, and those who have walked its shores, especially after dark, have reported ghostly hands that rise from its waters, shadowy figures that roam about, and the brief but unsettling sensation of phantom asphyxiation. Kerr City, a 19th century ghost town on the north shore of Lake Kerr, is rumored to harbor restless spirits resulting from a series of unsolved murders, with purported activity said to get strongest near its old post office and hotel site. One final tale tells that long ago, somewhere within Ocala, a young girl shot and killed her father after he killed the man that she loved, before turning the gun on herself. It said her restless spirit was transformed into an unnaturally large phantom coyote that still wanders about to this day. Number 4. Morgan Monroe State Forest Morgan Monroe State Forest, located off of Forest Road between Morgan and Monroe counties in Indiana, is a wooded park expanse covering more than 25,000 acres that boasts the title of being the second largest forest in the state and that's recognized as one of the few places in Indiana where one can experience actual traditional gold panning. Historically, this region was occupied by native tribes including the Delaware, Miami, and Potawatomi for thousands of years, and through the 1800s, settlers would attempt to farm the area, but it would ultimately prove too rocky and unsuitable for agriculture. In 1929, the state would purchase plots for the purpose of creating Morgan Monroe. In 1933, it would become home to Indiana's first Civilian Conservation Corps camps, and later, the CCC would plant hundreds of acres of pine over used-up old farmlands. Additional trails and campsites were created through the 1950s and 60s, and from 2015 to 2019, the park's offices were closed down for a time to make way for renovations, as well as for the installations of educational plaques and displays, historical exhibits, cultural and ecological features, wildlife lists, and to chart forest management information. Morgan Monroe remains open into the present, offering both site and backcountry camping, lodges, lakes, 
betrayals, game, and, according to legend, an assortment of supernatural phenomena, with some stories telling of ritualistic practices, murder, dark magic, and worse, and others of frequent Sasquatch and cryptid encounters. At Draper Cabin, which is available for overnight stays, guests have reported strange scratching sounds, disembodied footsteps, and encounters with both shadowy figures and full-bodied apparitions. And, shockingly enough, it's claimed most can't make it through a full night in the confines of the old abode. Lastly, Step Cemetery was established in the early 1800s, and is rumored to be a magnet for all things strange, many braving its ground have described disembodied voices, orbs visible to the naked eye, full-bodied apparitions in clothing spanning the eras, and a spectral woman usually spied crying over the grave of one baby Lester before, eerily enough, digging up his bones, cradling them for a moment, and then fading away. Number 3. Angeles National Forest Angeles National Forest, located in the San Gabriel and Sierra Paloma Mountains in Los Angeles, San Bernardino, and Ventura Counties in Southern California, is a 700,000-acre forest expanse, boasting the titles of being both the oldest national forest in the state as well as of being the second oldest in the country. In actuality, Angeles is comprised of several smaller, previously standalone forest reserves being the San Gabriel, which was established in 1892, the San Bernardino, which was established in 1893, and the Santa Barbara, which was established in 1903. In 1907, all three reserves were elevated to national forest status. In 1908, they were combined into the much larger Angeles National Forest, and in 1925, portions of Angeles and the Cleveland National Forests were set aside. In order to re establish the San Bernardino National Forest. Tragically, in 1966, a large blaze swept the woodland, destroying 2,028 acres and resulting in the deaths of 12 firefighters under the command of the U.S. Forest Service's El Carrizo Hotshot Crew, while leaving 11 others severely injured. In the present, Angeles boasts five nationally designated wilderness areas, two of which extend into the neighboring San Bernardino National Forest. Disturbingly, local legend tells the curve fire of 2002 was caused by cultists performing a series of fire and animal sacrifice inclusive rituals, and just months later, reports of encounters with ghostly forms and with strange pale animals with rotting flesh and black eye sockets began to surface. To this day, many claim these rituals opened some sort of doorway or portal to somewhere dark, and that evil things have since passed through it, with frequenters of Angelus also describing unnatural shrieks and cries at night, orbs and photographs, the constant feeling of being watched or followed, and a range of full-bodied apparitions. The Cobb Estate, a 107-acre portion of the expanse, is said to be haunted by the spirits of Charles and Carrie Cobb, its previous owners, and many nearing it have described feeling unwelcomed, with several telling of a horrendous screaming emanating from nearby trees that's actually caused a handful to leave. Lastly, at the Devil's Punch Bowl, a ghostly white mist has been encountered twirling gracefully through the air, and has has been known to emit a high-pitched scream as it darts past hikers. Number 2. Cameron Park Cameron Park, located off North University Park's Drive in Waco, Texas, is a 416-acre city park expanse recognized for its hosting of the 52-acre Cameron Park Zoo, and also for its boasting of the title of being one of the largest municipal parks in a state known for bigger, well, 
everything. Historically, through the early 20th century, citizens of Waco began seeking green spaces and lands for public parks. And in 1910, property now holding Cameron was purchased by one W.C. Lawson for Flora B. Cameron, who would in turn donate it to the city. The park was officially dedicated on May 27th of 1910 and was named in honor of Waco philanthropist and lumber baron William Cameron. In 1917 and again in 1920, the Cameron family would donate additional land for park grounds. And through the Great Depression, Civilian Conservation Corps workers would construct a series of trails, water drains, and retaining walls. Through the mid-1960s, controversy arose over future construction plans, resulting in a rapid decline in the park's popularity. And into the 1980s, it would become a hotbed for criminal activity. Fortunately, in the 1990s, the Cameron Park Zoo was opened, trails were expanded, and the area was afforded a larger police presence. Today, Cameron boasts over 20 miles of trails, a disc golf course, cross-country running routes, recreational courts, playgrounds, picnic areas, and, disturbingly, a plethora of chilling ghost stories. In an area known as the Tar Pits, where it said a motorcyclist was killed in the 1970s, many have reported the sounds of phantom engines, orbs visible to the naked eye, and the disembodied weeping of a woman. Those who've climbed Jacob's Ladder after dark have described the sensation of unseen hands pulling at their clothing, and Lindsay Hollow Road is rumored to be stalked by the restless souls of the Lindsay brothers, two cattle thieves who, shortly after the Civil War, were captured, killed, and buried nearby. At Lover's Leap, a limestone formation overlooking the Bosque River, it said that, long ago, a young man and woman from warring tribes fell in love and were cornered by their clansmen on the point. Unwilling to live without each other, they embraced and jumped to their deaths. Their spirits have been sighted on the cliff under the moonlight, and sweet whispering can often be heard from the waters below. Lastly, the old remains of a stone home within Cameron have been dubbed the Witch's House, and near them, many have reported screaming, banging sounds, the stench of death, and extreme cold spots. Legend tells this site was once inhabited by a woman who dabbled in dark magics, and whose hands were likely tied to more than a few local disappearances. Number 1. Olympic National Park Olympic National Park, located on the Olympic Peninsula in Washington, is a 922,000-acre expanse, hosting a variety of ecosystems, some of which include mountainous, coastline, and old-growth forest. Historically, this land once played home to Ho, Maka, Quinault, Skokomish, Quillet, and other tribes native to the region, and through the 1880s, settlers would begin utilizing its dense forests for lumber production. Through the 1890s and resulting from excessive logging, a series of conservation efforts were launched. In 1897, President Grover Cleveland would establish Olympic Forest Reserve, and in 1907, the site would be retitled as the Olympic National Forest. In 1909, from within the forest, President Theodore Roosevelt would establish the Mount Olympus National Monument, which, in 1938, was redesignated as Olympic National Park. Today, the park offers a range of hiking trails, options for angling, boating, beachcombing, and, as tale tells, a slew of paranormal infestations. A more popular fable tells of the fate of one Hallie Latham Illingworth, whose body was discovered at Lake Crescent in 1937. Hallie's husband was later convicted for her murder, but many claim her vengeful spirit, dubbed the Lady of the Lake, still roams about, calling out for help, a ruse some say she utilizes to lure in her victims. 
Also at Crescent, in 2002, a car along with the remains of a couple who disappeared in 1929 were pulled from the waters. Shortly before his suicide in 2012, serial killer Israel Keys admitted to utilizing its depths as a body dump site, and various other remains, some ancient, have been retrieved from the lake up into recent times. At Kalalik Lodge, a group of ghostly children have been sighted and heard playing, and a spectral little girl has been known to dart through the kitchen, knocking things over along the way. At Lake Quinault, especially near its lodge, visitors have reported encounters with shadowy figures, as well as with an unnerving presence, some claim courtesy of an ancient burial site. And in Olympic National Park employee housing, staff members have reported doors opening and closing on their own, objects that move or even float in midair, and chilling otherworldly voices heard over radio transmissions. Throughout the zone's thick forests, Sasquatch sightings are all but common, with another popular tale telling of Boston Charlie, the last medicine man of the Kalalum tribe, who's said to have fallen and badly injured himself within Olympic, before, while on death's door, being rescued by a large hairy hominid creature that wrapped him up in a giant maple leaf, and that fed and nourished him back to health before guiding him back to civilization. It's said Charlie refused to ever set foot in the park again. Lastly, Goblin's Gate is a prominent rock formation along the Elwa River, which derives its name from an ominous face formed in a rocky outcropping. Local tales tell this site is haunted, cursed, or maybe a little bit of both, as twice through history, construction of a bridge was attempted right near, and on both occasions, the crossings mysteriously and dangerously failed. Near Goblin's Gate, many have reported extreme cold spots in the heat of summer, shadowy figures that manifest around sundown, and the constant feeling of being watched or followed by something unseen, possibly by something evil. Taking into consideration its fascinating and significant history, and coupling it with a massive range of purported hauntings, ghost stories, and urban legends, we felt Olympic National Park was the best choice as the most haunted forest in the United States. Thanks for tuning in for our list of some of the most haunted forests in the United States. If you enjoyed hearing our histories and ghost stories, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on. Throw us a like, and most importantly, share us with anyone you feel could use a good scare. We'll see you all next time.